So if you've been feeling down lately because you've been looking at your Facebook feed, this video is for you. Hey everyone, welcome to a new site to go video. Today we're going to be talking about Facebook and how it's actually linked to depressive symptoms. For most of us, social media is an everyday thing. We constantly update our status on Facebook, we tweet a lot on Twitter, we post a lot on Instagram and reblog on Tumblr or just, you know, scroll through Tumblr till it's like 3am and you're like... <sighs> yeah. And we think nothing of it. We think it's just something that we do every day, it's a normal thing, you know, wasting our time on the internet, whatever. But a new study has recently discovered that depressive symptoms are actually linked to social media. Well, specifically Facebook. What? According to Steers, we see our friends on Facebook post about their achievements, about fun activities that they're doing, and it causes you uh, to compare your lives to theirs, thinking, oh, their lives are so much better because they're doing this, yada, 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 and I'm not. Doing this can actually lead to depressive symptoms. But the study actually discovered that it doesn't matter how you compare, like they could be in a tropical island having a fun vacation or holiday and you could be at home looking at it, or they could just be going about their daily lives and you'd still feel kind of sad about it. Even seeing your friends doing worse than you on Facebook can still lead to this instant feel of gratification because you feel like you're doing better than them but it's only temporary because any positive feelings you get from seeing someone else doing worse than you is very superficial and extremely short-lived so it, it's not even worth it. The study also found out that the more time you spend on Facebook the more likely you are experiencing depressive symptoms. The more time you spend on Facebook the more things you'll see and the more times you will compare your lives to theirs and it's not a good thing at all. Also, spending so much time on Facebook can cause you to be addicted to it, which is not a good thing either. As much as this research is focused on Facebook, all of the results shouldn't be restricted to Facebook alone. This also applies to a bunch of other social media that you use all the time. So if there's anything to take away from this video, this study, and this article, it's really just to never compare yourselves to other people. Instead, you should compare yourself to how you used to be. Are you a better person than yesterday? Also, if you want to learn more about this study and you want to see the article that this video is based on, it's down below. And also, everything psych to go is down there, so if you're really into psychology or you're taking up psychology, it's the best place to look online right now. So that is it for today's Psych2Go video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you go click the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed already, click that as well up there. Again, my name is Diane and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for your time.